So here's a first look at the SOL Survive Outdoors Longer Packable Water Cube. The vinyl that the cube on the right is made out of, it feels quality. It feels thick. It has that feel that things in the past that felt like that um, didn't get dry and brittle, didn't stretch and tear. Uh, hopefully the way that it feels is the way that it's going to behave in the real world. Although it really wasn't that uh, expensive. So let's go ahead and get the sink with the drain set up on the main Trekology table, which I reviewed both of these Trekology tables in a previous video. Let's get it set up and let's pour some water into it and then come back. So this will be the flat pack collapsible sink 8L. And it has a drain in it. The other one that's larger does not have a drain. Let's try this one first. Well, there it is all expanded out on the table. Definitely looks like it's going to hold, you know, more than I expected at first. Let's put some water in there. Well, I have another impression of the water cube, and that is even with its valve fully opened up, it reminded me of an old man at 3 a.m. in the morning. Just kind of a steady dribble, dribble, dribble out. Maybe that's good, maybe you're camping and you don't want to risk uh, losing, spilling all of your water. But if I knew I had something like a sink or something to fill up, I probably, instead of using the valve, would unscrew the whole cap of the valve and be a little bit more careful and then just dump the water in. But for something like filling up a, uh, a coffee cup or something else, the valve is good, slow and controllable. Water in here, coffee cup in. You can do that. Let the soak. Let's take a look at the next Survive Outside Longer product, which is flat pack bowls and strainer set. Okay, these are all nesting down inside of each other to take up a minimum amount of space. Let's go ahead and pull them apart and expand them. Okay, this was the smallest bowl. This was the one that was on top of the set. And you can see it's a decent sized bowl. That's bigger than probably most people's cereal bowl in the morning. If I was making uh, if I was making mashed potatoes or something probably after they were prepared and cooked you can move the mashed potatoes into this here it is collapsed it has some sort of strainer feature about it let's go ahead and expand it out and there you have like ex like, uh, maybe a colander like if you were cooking spaghetti noodles or some sort of pasta maybe you could use that to pour the pasta in after it's been cooked to help drain the water off the strainer. Let's look at the large bowl. Much larger than a cereal bowl or something that an individual would use to eat. That's not even all of the flat pack. We'll have to come back and do some more recording. 